Uh, he has Tornado to out-prioritize all of DDD's moves pretty much, with very few exceptions, and catches air dodges. So, oh, Joe going with that very telegraphed side B cancel lead, but Hungrybox wasn't Worked prepared. Out, yeah. But another great thing that DDD has is grab range to contest with Meta Knight's sword. Oh, unfortunate trip from Hungrybox. Legacy. Tripping, hopefully soon to be a long lost artifact in this game. Of, of Smash in general. <laughs> of Smash in general, but uh, yeah. you know, it. Uh, we're making strides to remove it from Brawl. Wow, very wow, the nice smash, option there. One of the few moves that DDD has that's capable of beating Tornado. And wow, already... <laughs> already we've seen much more matchup familiarity at Hungrybox fighting Meta Knight rather than Sonic. And despite the tier gap between Meta Knight and Sonic, it really is a lot about comfort. Because you can have no idea what you're doing and get totally janked by a low tier character. And then do fine against a high tier one that you have plenty of experience against. Oh, Hungerbox is getting punished hard by these down airs. He's just landing, and all that landing lag. He may do some damage, but then he gets hit. The only way he's able to not get hit by that landing lag or the punishment is if the down air hits cleanly and oh. pops Meta Knight up. Joe not falling for that little corner trap there. Oh, up tilt. What a kill. That definitely would have killed Meta Knight, but unfortunately it was positioned the wrong way, and there was a shield up. Oh, oh, Hungrybox going so deep for that forward smash, but he's not going to disrespect Joe like that. Yeah. Definitely not the player to get caught by that. Oh, that man. up tilt poke. And Let's the, go. Yeah, the late hitbox of the up tilt wow. poking T.O. Joe's shield. Hungrybox, after getting 0-3, takes the first game of the, of the next set. All right, so and we saw T.O. Joe 3 0 kid goggles. Yeah, wow. So this is an interesting little... Uh, trifecta Triable, we've got yeah. going on here but I you know I still don't anticipate Joe dropping the set vastly more experienced in this game uh, his character has a significant matchup advantage here as well so um, you know Hungrybox being more familiar against Meta Knight might really show to pay off for him Oh, almost getting the third grab. Yep. Yeah. One of DDD's uh, greatest assets is his chain grab, which he can just down throw repeatedly all the way to the edge of the stage against any character with the weight of Marth or more. However, Meta Knight has less weight than Marth, so when he gets down thrown, he gets popped up and there's no guaranteed follow up. So anytime you see Hungrybox falling up out of a down throw in this set, it's a read. Oh, and he was trying to grab release him into the Waddle Dew, trying to freeze him up in the, the hit lag of the, uh, the beam, and then go for a crazy follow up. It's a very ambitious setup there. Oh, Joe gets the falling back air, but no. Hungrybox keen to that little uh, that mix up, jumps out and down airs himself. Great punish by T.O. Joe there, though. Uh, again, being punished the landing lag on down air. Oh, Toronto Joe reading the the roll back to the center of the stage from Hungrybox, but failing smash. to capitalize, gets down smash oh. instead. Oh, great shuttle loop. Oh, uh, yes, no. definitely not going to fall for something like that. T.O. Joe showing his awareness of this matchup. Try to poke to the bottom platform. Yeah, let's go up in the air. Oh, but he's still so heavy. He doesn't need a lot more than that. Yep, Hungrybox very used to playing characters with multiple jumps. But, uh, oh, the Tex. Wow, that Texas was that Texas. was intense right there. That was almost the end for T.O. Joe. Oh, and so was no. that. But now is it the end for Hungrybox? No, the stars from his upbeat barely saving him. Fresh down smash out of shield from T.O. Joe. Closes out game two. We've got one apiece. And these two definitely showing to be quite competitive with one another. They are, are capable of stepping into each other. And... I'm going to move my mic away from my face okay, because yeah. anytime I scream, it probably destroys everyone's ears. So, <laughs> nah. Oh, he's, yeah. All right, these, these headphones are on point. These heads. I mean, shout out to the Kimmer. We already know. Kimmer's got the technology. Is, Kimmer's got is unlocked. Unlocked. No worries. Yeah. No worries. Oh, and Joe is switching to Fox. All right. So yeah. So we're going into game three. You're still on. Uh, well, on Smashville now. Uh, King JD versus Fox. I, mean, I, I this, this is what I love about One Stock. I never would have seen these matchups. I feel like. Yeah. You'd never be seeing Fox versus DD. And, you know, situation. it's not like Joe is just picking the Fox to, to show off now. And before no. in the other sets, yeah, he, you know, he had massive advantages. He was up 2-0. He could whip out the Fox. But now, uh, this is a metagame call, you know? Yeah. Hungrybox won game one against his Meta Knight, had a very close call game two, and now Toronto Joe might think that he actually needs Fox to pull this one out. And, I, you know, based on what we saw of Hungrybox versus uh, Kid Goggles, there was, um, like, a lot of matchup unfamiliarity kind of keeping H-Box down. And we saw when he switched to DDD for game two, he did a lot better. Uh, granted, he did lose most of the set with Jigglypuff. Oh, but oh no way! If it doesn't work the first time, do it again. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's the anti-special. We learned that when he was uh, first maining DDD. <laughs> that up tilt, you could just go for it. And wow! All right, Toronto Joe, right back to Meta Knight. Yeah. Joe's like, eh, Fox, Fox didn't work out. Right. Yeah, the tornado kicks weren't there. And now, 2-1 to one for Hungrybox, about to take out, well, potentially could take out Toronto Joe here. 
But Joe's like, all right, I have confidence in my Meta Knight. I'd love to see him bring it back to a game five. Yeah, I know Toronto Joe has the fire underneath him right now. He's definitely motivated to take yeah, this tournament absolutely. home. So he's not going to give him an easy fight this time. He's going to be using that tornado to its fullest Ooh, potential. Oh, a really early Gordo there that could have done a ton of damage to Joe. He does miss. Oh, that fading away back air. Still uh, too much range and, and movement for DDD to shield grab it. That's very impressive. Oh, yo. Wow, the getup attacks. Nice. Very patient in the wait for that back air. Oh, wow. Hungrybox really putting himself on the board here. Showing us that he's no slouch in Brawl either. Oh, wow. All right, covering all of Joe's aerial options right there. Wow, okay. the dash attack. Grabs him out of the dash attack. Yeah. That could have been the end. If that hit Joe, that actually would have And now Hungrybox sure. is just throwing up up tilt. That was four or five right there. Well, he wrecked Ooh. Wow, <laughs> the shuttle loop. That could be a game changer. Let's see what Joe does. You got to hit him out of the air on his way down. No, now he's got all his jumps back. Yeah. Slowly working that percent lead Ooh. back. Oh, my God. You know H-Box was ready for that to some degree, but not ready enough. Oh, stage spike. Oh, my God, the text. Oh. Don't, don't freeze. Okay, good by Joe. <laughs> having the composure, oh, having the presence of mind to roll behind him instead of just getting hit by that forward smash. Oh, oh wow. Attack. Almost caught by the up tilt. This is so close now. Now, Joe's been at 98% for like a minute, and he is well within kill range for Hungrybox's up tilt right now. Down smash is super stale for Joe. Oh, that landing down air. It's so risky. You could easily get punished for that, but Hungrybox went for it either. Uh, either way, knowing that T.O. Joe would probably just drop his shield at the right moment. Uh, oh man, this is so intense. He may, he may Scrooge Minute back and the 20 side. on the clock, but remember if it goes to time, if you have more than eight edge grabs, you're you're done. Alright, throws him back into position. Okay, smart lands on the oh, platform. That up tilt just waiting for him. Yes, and also a fresh right, back air is enough to back take to him the out too. Side. Nice up air through the pla uh, through the corner. Yeah, that patience near the edge is really paying off. Oh man. Oh, oh that would have poked through his shield. Get away. Very get away smart by Joe, not falling for the tricks. Oh grab Clips it up. him no, the that's very not tip of his foot. Back, I smell a back air coming, but Hungrybox smartly backs off and throws a Waddle D. Oh, oh take that, he said. MLB. Oh, gets the grab. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, the sweet shit music. Out. Wow. Two minutes and 15 seconds for that stock. Wow. That was an intense smash, and now it's two apiece. Joe hit We've him got right in the jaw with that down smash. Oh, is he going to go to Jigglypuff for game five? Wow. No, that would be a huge I don't disappointment. Know. I hope He's been he doing so do well. Yeah. I hope he doesn't do that. He's got a shot at winning this. Oh, just stay DDD box. Stay. Please stay DDD box. Yeah, he's going back to DDD. Much, much better. That's what I want to see. I'm stealing a fry from Gimmer, even though I bought them for him. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. All righty. Game shout out, shout out five. to the Wendy's that's open downstairs. Yeah, game five. King DDD versus Meta Knight. T.O. Joe versus Hungry Box. Juego Cinco. Let's go. Let's go. One, go. Right, let's Battlefield once blood. again. We saw Hungry Box win on this stage. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I would, grab, grab wow. the up throw. <laughs> Nothing is beyond my expectations at this point. Hungry Box has proven to be a solid Super Smash Bros. player overall. T.O. Joe, of course, multi game threat as well. Great at Melee and Project M. Ooh, up it, oh, up but up this up is up his up specialty, up and he's letting Hungry Box mm. know that. Oh, now this is such a great, uh, a great stage choice. He has three, three platforms of shark through, and because he has, he's looking for that, our uh, Hungrybox has been looking for that down air this entire set. It's a great stage to go to. Very smart choice. Yeah, that down air is definitely great at throwing your opponent off when they expect you to do a single hit move or an air dodge upon landing. Yeah. But that nice. down air with multiple hit boxes and tricky ones at that definitely can help Hungrybox get back to the ground and has been for the entire set. Joe oh. showing some dominance here. Yeah, caught in that little boxing situation, a little spot dodge war, but Joe gets the better of him. Nice. Understanding, uh, you know, what typical options people are going to pick in Brawl. Very, very good grasp on the metagame. Oh, nice little string there. Right, oh, DDD pretty much at kill percent now. However, it won't take long for him to, uh, Meta Knight to get to kill percent if Hungrybox can land some clean hits, which he hasn't been able to this entire game. Oh, oh, Joe needs to wait though. Uh, DDD is vulnerable. He has no super armor on his up B once he's making his descent. But yeah. on his way up, that yeah, super you have armor. To wait till a peak. Super armor makes him very tough to edge guard. To be fair though, I mean he was pretty much at the stage at his peak anyway. So right, right, yeah. DDD, you know his. Ooh, ooh. Oh man, that, that if he was at a higher right percent, it could have killed him. him yeah. Up, yeah. But fortunately, Joe. Joe, very keen to that. Smash the eyes out of the final hits of the down air. 195 for Hungrybox. Or oh, 203 for yep. Hungrybox. Now that shuttle Damn. loop won't kill him uh, from like from the air because it has a very low knockback growth, but that a very high base knockback. That was smart by Hungrybox. I, he, I think he used the inhale. Oh, big to damage. The, wow. He used no. the, the inhale to send the Waddle D away. And there we go. The down smash. T.O. Joe closes it out, Close showing his there. mastery of his game. Says, Hungrybox, you're good. And the three you're better at melee, but you're still good. Three to two going to T.O. Joe. Very impressive showing.